Hi everyone, welcome to Ifish Stitches Academy YouTube channel. This is my very first video. Yippee! I'm going to be teaching you in this tutorial how to cut and sew this not twisted drape skirt. So we're going to start with our basic skirt. This is a dartless basic skirt. If you don't have a dartless basic skirt, you could just use your normal um, basic skirt pattern and then you cut off your dart, the dart part of it. So that was what I just did for this one. I removed the dart part from the side. So, and then I cut it on a plain fabric and I only kept my side seam allowance. So this is the base of our skirt before we do the draping part on it. So now I'll keep that aside and then I'll be, I'll be altering this one to make my um, draped design. So I'll select the point where I want my draped, um, my draping to be, where the twist is going to be. So I just selected that point right now and I'll be drawing style lines where they will pass. I'll be drawing style lines where my twists will come true. So this is the style lines that we are drawing. And if you look at the picture very well, you will notice that for the draped part of the skirt, it is extended at the hem. So I'm adding an extra paper to create um, um allowance for my hem, for my extension, sorry, at the hem. So that is what I'm just doing right now, extending it straight to the hem at the side too. And then I'll be cutting off the parts that I don't need. So right now, I, I just labeled A and B. This shaded part is not needed. So we're going to be drawing our style lines. But before then, I'm going to draw a straight line across that point that I made. And then I'll label 1A, 1B, 2A, and 2B. And then we'll cut off the parts that is not needed in this um, outfit. Please don't forget to subscribe to my video. And please turn on your post notification so that you can know when I upload a new video. So after cutting out the part that is not needed, I'm going to now draw some slash lines because we're going to be doing some slashing and spreading on this skirt to get our drape effect. So I'm just drawing two extra lines on each section. That is two lines on 1A, two lines on 1B, two lines on 2A, and two lines on 2B. So we're just going to notch that our line that we um we drew so that we'll see them clearly when we want to sew. So now we're going to cut them section by section. And before we do we mark the side S S S S just to know that note that that is the side of our skirt. So I just marked it S. Then I'll be cutting my slash lines from the inside not from the side seam and you don't cut through that was a mistake you're going to just cut to the end just like i'm doing right now like this particular one so that you can easily spread so that was a mistake that i did cutting that one off so for the bigger part i'm also going to be doing the same thing right now slashing and spreading then we'll do for the one eight two so for the four of them, we just basically slash them from that particular point where our twist is going to be. So we are now going to get another paper where we are going to place the um, patterns on, on top. So there are two things you should note. Number one, the edges of your pattern should match. The edges of 1A should match 1A, a one b and also for the smaller parts. And then number two, make sure that the sides are where we notched are on the same side. You will see me checking that they are on the same side. That is it. Then you now make sure that your edges should also match. Before you completely gum them, just match your edges the way I am doing right now. You can see it. Once you are okay with it, then you can now gum the edge. And you'll be doing the same thing for the bigger one too. So this is the bigger one and this is the smaller one. You can see that we are done placing them on another paper. So it's time to cut it on fabric right now. We're going to be placing it on a fabric to cut. So for illustration purpose, we'll only be keeping side seam allowance. But when you're making your main dress, you're supposed to keep allowance all over the pattern. But because this is just for illustration purpose, and you know, on the main, on the base of the skirt, we kept um, 
side only side seam allowance so you can see that i kept my side seam allowance so this one on top that i kept is a it's an allowance that is going to be sewn that's why i kept it so we are going to just take this and then um so up you can see for this other smaller part too i only kept side seam allowance and the other parts that will be sewn I didn't keep allowance for any other place but because it is for illustration purpose so now i'm going to take this to the sewing machine and i'm going to be sewing this upper part that that upper part that it's not part of the side seam i'm going to sew it towards the end i will not get to the end i will sew and leave about half inch on that folded place so i'm going to go over to the machine now to sew it okay so it's been sewn now i've sewed it you can see i actually used the black thread so you can see where i stopped so you can see the space i left i left about half inch there so that you can because we are going to be passing this smaller one through there so we're also going to sew this smaller one we're going to but before we sew we have to pass it through that hole and then you have to notch that place that is meant to be sewn because this looks like uh, what shape will I call this? It looks similar. So I actually did not notch it first there, but later I brought it out to notch the part I'm meant to sew so that I don't uh, make that mistake of sewing the wrong part because you know we didn't keep allowance on the lower part so it's only on the upper part so i'll just take my scissors right now and notch it before passing it through that hole so we're only going to pass one of the edge through the hole and then we'll try to close it up so just watch what i'm doing right now i i tried to pass it i used the scissors actually pushed it out then i picked out the places i notched I arranged it, picked out the places I notched so that I can now sew. So now, because this is passing through another fabric, you also not be able to sew to the end. So you sew to whatever extent you feel you, that you can get to. So holding it, I check if that is the notched part. Then I'll take it over to the machine and I will sew this notched part to whatever extent my machine can get to this is an this is a half scale for a bigger scale you know it will be bigger so now i have sewn the other part of the of the dress and you can see how it has come out to look so you now open it and you see how everything looks okay so now this is what it looks like we're going to be matching it to the side of that first one the side seam of that first skirt that we cut and we'll see the final look so this is the final look you can see how it's really looking you can see our twist our slash and spread um, from the twist even the part that we sewed is not really obvious it looks like part of the drip so thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification and i won't see you in my next video thanks